guys! I made two decorative golden shelves. These shelves are so pretty and they're super affordable. I am making it to help out Cece with her room and based on the picture that was sent to me, I sketched out where both shelves will be. Now let's go ahead and get started. I got this funnel set from Walmart for 97 cents. I'm going to be using the larger one. And now I'm going to be taking the line that we have on the funnel as my guide to split the funnel into two. The next thing that I did was to cut out a round board of 9 inches from a foam board and split it into two. And then I took one half and I glued on this half to one of the halves of the funnel. A gold rust-oleum spray paint and I spray painted it gold and then I cut out a shape of the back from a poster board and then I glued it behind. The top was not spray painted and I will be covering it with marble contact paper. I will leave a link for this marble contact paper in the description box below. I drew out a 9 inches round circle and then I cut it out and then I'm gonna cut it into half and that's what I'm gonna be using for the top. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now for the bottom, I'm going to be using decorative Christmas ornament balls. Now this particular one has a very nice and attractive pattern and that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to take off the top first and then split it into two. And then I'm gonna glue onto the bottom right here. I'm gonna be using golden beads around the edges. Now I'm going to be taking a poster board and then making lines of one inches each. And then at the end of the day, I have one inch by 8.5 inches. And I'm going to be bending it again into two to make some sort of pattern. And now I'm going to be making a curve at the top and then a pointed tip at the bottom. And then I used a craft stick just to curve them just a little bit and then I spray painted all of them gold. And now I'm going to be gluing them onto the design with the pointed side going into the hole that is there created by the ornament ball. This is what it looks like. Now for the back, you can use all kinds of hanging materials for it. You can use a hook or command strips. Now these command strips are different because they all carry different weights. Now depending on the weight of whatever item you're going to be placing on top of your shelf, you're going to buy a command strip that would take the weight. After I mounted it on the wall, I was not satisfied with the beads around the edges. So I'm going to be using these decorative embellishments that were leftovers from a different project and I'm going to be separating the pieces and gluing them on. I used just a hot glue gun, but to secure it properly, I'm going to be going brown with an E6000 glue. 
And now to cover up the spaces that are so ugly because of the way I removed the beads earlier, I'm going to be cutting either one or two beads and gluing them on to cover up the spaces. This is what it looks like, and I think it looks way better than the beads. These are so pretty, and it's hard to tell that they're funnels. And now you can display your decorative knickknacks on the shelves. There are some knickknacks that are heavier than some, and yes, it can take heavy knickknacks or heavy decorative items. These shelves are so sturdy and it's going to be depending on the command strip that you use. That's going to be equivalent to whatever weight that's going to be on top. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.